Hi, this is Emma at Woods and Peace in sunny Illinois on June 14, around 10.30 in the morning. This is my first audiobook journal of the day. And uh, my patch of salad, spinach, kale, uh, herbs. So yesterday, I read, uh, finished reading the six first chapters of the uh, ninth book in the Maigret series by Georges Simenon. The English title is The Great Banks Cafe, but I'm actually reading it in French with as a read-along with a French student. We are reading about six chapters a week, so those are really short books. So uh, in two weeks, we're done with each book. And um, so as I said yesterday, this young uh, 20-something guy has been accused of killing the captain on the boat he was. And uh, so now Inspector Maigret is uh, questioning all different possible culprits. Now, in the previous eight books I've read by Maigret, there's, it's always things with, fit, with uh, ships, water, canals, and it's the same here. And there are, women are often um, not too good, and most, in most of the books I think actually uh, the woman, the killer was a woman. And there are some really uh, shady women in this one as well. For instance, there's this woman who... Uh, went on the boat and uh, hid herself under the captain's bed and then you had uh, three or four guys uh, who kept uh, coming to visit her hmm. and this uh, guy who's culprit he has a girlfriend but she uh, eh, I don't know what's going on with her too so I'm not too sure and you know after this one maybe I think I'm going to stop because those are kind of really uh, nice little mysteries, I like the ambiance, but it's kind of a bit repetitive in the sense it's always the same milieu, so I don't know. Now today, uh, it's Sunday, so I'm starting my readings with a spiritual book. I'm actually reading this commentary on Psalm 118 by Saint Theophan the Recluse, it was written in mid-19th century. I really enjoy it a lot. They, he takes each verse of the, uh, you know, Psalm 18 is the longest psalm of the Bible. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but each, um, okay, it's got 24 strophe because there are 24 letters in the uh, Hebrew alphabet. And each strophe, each eight, each strophe has eight lines. And each line is then going to start by the same letter of the, alph of the alphabet. So, for instance, first strophe starts with the letter Al Aleph, which is A, and so each verse will start with that letter. So I'm actually now in verse 21, uh, sorry with the song here, and I like it how he makes references to, um, to Hebrew, to Greek, and to lots of different authors before him. I really enjoy it a lot. Okay, so now I'm going uh, to reading. Talk to you later. Have a nice Sunday.